Number 370, Megan is considering taking the scenic route, driving 210 miles east from her home to City A and then 280 miles north to City B. She plans on driving at an average speed of 70 miles per hour. How many hours will she save if she takes the direct route to City B from her home? Well, let's draw a picture. So let's say this is her home. And she wants to take the, well, she's considering taking the scenic route. And that includes driving 210 miles east. And then, so that'll take her to city A. And then 280 miles north to city B. Now we want to compare that route with her taking the direct route from her home to city B. So let's call the first route, route one, and the second route, route two. So how long would it take her to travel through route one? We know distance is equal to the speed multiplied by the time. To find T, we need to divide by V. So the time is going to be the distance divided by the average speed. If she travels through route one, the total distance will be 210 plus 280. So she's going to travel a distance of 490 miles at an average speed of 70 miles per hour. 490 divided by 70, we could cancel the zeros. So it becomes 49 divided by 7, and that's 7. So it's going to take her 7 hours to get to City B if she takes the scenic route. Now what if she takes the direct route? If you know, this is the, if you notice, this is the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. 3 times 70 is 210, 4 times 70 is 280, so 5 times 70 is 350. So this is 210, 280, 350. If you didn't see that, you can always use the Pythagorean theorem. Let's say this is A, this is B, and we're trying to find C. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. A is 210, B is 280. We want to find the hypotenuse, the side across the right angle or the longest side, which is C. Two ten squared is forty four thousand one hundred. Two eighty squared is seventy eight thousand four hundred. And let's add those two numbers. 44,100 plus 78,400 is 122,500. Now, let's take the square root of both sides. The square root of C squared is C. And the square root of 122,500 is 350. But if you notice that these two numbers were in the ratio of 3 and 4, then you know you're dealing with the 3, 4, 5 triangle. You just have to realize that 210 is 70 times 3, and 280 is 70 times 4. So the other side, you just got to multiply it by uh, 70 by 5 to get 350. That's why it helps to recognize those special right triangles. So now that we know the distance of taking the direct route from her, from her home to City B is 350 miles, we could find the time it takes to take that route. So 350 miles divided by an average speed of 70 miles per hour. We could cancel a zero. This becomes 35 divided by seven, which is five. So it's gonna take her seven hours to take the scenic route from A to B but it'll take her five hours to take the direct route. So the time that she saves 
the number of hours that she will save if she takes the direct route is the difference between these two numbers. So we're looking for delta t, or the change in t. 7 minus 5 is 2. So that's how many hours she's going to save if she takes the direct route. She'll save two hours.